Right, take a note of these distances because we're currently in Copenhagen and that's how far away those places are. That's crucial because this is the all new Mercedes-Benz CLA shooting brake and this is the fully electric CLA 250 plus version. And why are those distances important? Because in theory, on one charge, this car could drive from here to there because this has a range of up to 761 kilometers. Now that is a little bit less than you get in the new CLA four-door coupe. Well, it's really a saloon, but I mean, Mercedes likes to call it a coupe. But this, and be still my beating heart, is very definitely an estate and very definitely not an SUV. So immediately that's a full five stars from me. That's really nice. I mean, you can see a very clear visual connection between this new shooting brake and the previous model. You get the same light bar running across the boot. You get the same very low slung, very curvy shape. It is in fact one millimeter taller than the standard four door CLA. And there's a little bit more headroom too than the, st than the standard CLA and considerably more headroom than you get in the old CLA shooting brake. Now, the styling at the front really is quite different. It's gone from a very sleek and understated look to something, well, a bit more in your face by Mercedes standards. I mean, you've got this fake grille here at the front that's peppered with light up Mercedes-Benz stars. And then you've got these very angry looking headlights up above that that run into, again, a full width light bar. It, it, I mean, you can tell that it's a CLA, I think, but it's definitely a bit of a new look for this car. Now, compared to the saloon, well, coupe, this is obviously a lot more practical. Let's take a look at the boot. And if I, it makes some funny little whooshing sounds sometimes. Electric boot lid, of course. Now up to the luggage cover here, you've got 455 litres of capacity. If you fold down those back seats, you've got 1290 litres, that is. And in the front, in the nose, the front boot, you've got another 101 litres. So you can get your charging cables in there and probably quite a bit of shopping as well. So that's all good. But we do need to take a quick look at the interior. It's basically the same as that of the standard four-door. There are a couple of interesting tweaks and some new bits and pieces that we can take a look at. So here inside the CLA shooting brake, the dashboard is basically the same as that of the four-door version. You get this big triple screen layout with this passenger screen on this side. That's an optional extra, but it's quite a cool optional extra because not only can you uh, get streaming services and so on, the uh, usual music streaming, you can also get even Disney Plus on this one, but you can also download games and wirelessly connect your Xbox or PlayStation controller, the one you'll have to steal off your kids, to play games while you're stopping and charging. Not that you'll be stopping and charging for very long because thanks to 800 volt charging, this car can recover more than 300 kilometers uh, of range in just 10 minutes of charging if you can find a charging point putting out 320 kilowatts. Incidentally, it has to be an 800 volt charging point at the moment because this car is compatible only with 800 volt charging. It can't charge from the older 400 volt chargers, which is, sorry to say, most of the chargers in Ireland. There is apparently an update coming that will allow it to charge from older chargers, but it's not gonna arrive just yet. But then again, this car doesn't arrive until well into 2026 for Irish customers. So it's probably not going to be a major problem for us. I have to say it's a very impressive looking dash complete with these light up air vents. I'm not sure if I'd have the passenger screen. It's a bit of a distraction and ultimately a passenger is probably just going to use their own phone or tablet anyway, but it is, it, it's certainly impressive looking. There's a camera in here, incidentally, which is both a selfie cam. If you want to take a selfie while you're out and about, uh, it's also a driver monitoring camera to make sure that you're looking out the windscreen and not at that screen. The steering wheel is new. It's one of the first times that Mercedes-Benz has used this new steering wheel. You'll notice it has the four spoke layout, which we've complained about before for having awkward touch sensitive buttons. Now, while there are still some touch sensitive buttons here, Mercedes has been quite good and it's fitted some useful physical controls. And look, I can turn up the stereo there. That's much, much easier than it was with the old fiddly touch sensitive ones. So one of the things that this CLA shooting brake has is a very big panoramic glass roof. It's slightly bigger than you get in the four door version. Uh, and it's also one of the first Mercedes to get electric shading on that roof because you just press a button on the dashboard. And as you can see, the roof closes and then you can 
open it up again. And also you get these cool little funky Mercedes star motifs on the roof and it's heat absorbing. In fact, it absorbs more heat than you would get with a normal glass roof and an electric sun blind. So that's very helpful as well. Um, and also there's ambient lighting built into the roof too, which is a nice little touch. So yeah, it's, it's quite a cool interior this. And thanks to it being a shooting brake, it's also quite practical. And given that extensive electric range, more than 760 kilometers this is starting to look like a pretty practical car well thanks very much for watching our quick video preview of the new mercedes-benz cla shooting brake don't forget to head over to completecar.ie to check out all of our reviews including reviews of the new electric cla and every new mercedes on the irish market and indeed every new car on the irish market and a few classics thrown in too do please remember to like subscribe and leave a comment and we'll see you again next time